Hi my dear spirited minds, hope you all are doing great. Dear friends, today I'd like to share with you an inspiring poem, If, written by Rudyard Kipling. And this poem is very inspiring one and it helps us to steer our life on the path of success. Friends, let's look at the poem once. If, if you can keep your head when all about you are losing weights and blaming it on you. If you can trust if you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, or being lied about, don't be in lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. And yet, don't look too good, not talk too wise. First stanza, this is the first stanza. Now, second stanza reads like this. If you can dream and not make dreams your master. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. If you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken, twisted by names to make a trap for fools. Or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stew and build them with worn out tools. Now third stanza reads like this friends. If you can make a, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss. If you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, hold on. Fourth stanza, if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, not lose the common touch. If neither force nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much. If you can fill the unfor unforgiving minute, with 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And which is more, you will be a man myself. Friends, this is an advice by your father to his son. So, remember friends, we all face challenging situations in our lives. Sometimes what, expect, what we expect will not realize it. We lose our heart. And at that time, you will encounter disappointment, depression, and even the people surrounding you, the people whom you know, they will be criticizing you. They will be disgracing you. You will think that nothing is happening to you. At that time, how you should react? This poem will tell. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing weights and blaming it on you. Sometimes we'll encounter in our life the situation where people will be blaming us. And that, for example, if you want to achieve any competitive exam or any goal you want to set, there will be always people who will discourage you. And when you attempt and you will face the first set of uh, failures, then the, those people who discouraged you will, see, will be saying you, we already told you that it's not your cup of tea. You cannot make it. At that time, you should you shouldn't lose your heart. But at the same time, you should listen to them whether what they are saying is right or wrong. In what way they are right. That will help you. So look at that. They are losing weight and blame it on you. If you can trust yourself, but you should trust yourself first. When all men doubt you. Let the whole world may doubt your abilities, friends, but you should believe in you. That is most important. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make elements for their doubtings too. Why they are doubting my abilities? Are they real? So, a rational approach towards their uh, doubts, their uh, discouraging statements you should adopt. And then you should look within. Then you will find untapped resources, the abilities within you, but you should give a balancing approach to that. 
If you can wait and not be tired by waiting, sometimes while chasing our dreams, we need to we need to have a lot of patience. After many setbacks, after many failures, we'll meet success. In the process of waiting, we should lose our heart. So that says if you can wait and not be tired by waiting, and you should you should have patience and hope. Sooner or later, you're going to succeed. Or being lied about, don't be in lies. Sometimes people will use lies to depict you in a negative picture. But you shouldn't deal in those lies. Or being hated, don't give way to hating. Sometimes people will hate you for no reason. But you shouldn't hate them. And yet, don't look too good, not talk too wise. So you shouldn't look too wise or too good because both are both these extremes are bad because you will be cheated by them you will be manipulated by the people by the so the people in the society so you should act very smart that is what the first stanza says and then the second stanza if you can dream and not make dreams your master we all have dreams but majority of us will we keep on dreaming that one day I'll achieve this and I'll live comfortable lives, happy life. But we should, we should dream at the same time, we should work on our dreams. That's what the line says. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, you should be the master of your dreams. If you can think and not make thoughts your aim. So I, instead of always thinking about what to do, how to do, you should put them into practice, into action. All your dreams and thoughts you should bring to action. If you can meet with tribe or disaster, see, in the process of chasing your dreams, you will meet triumph and disaster. Triumph, success, and disaster, failure. Now, remember friends, what Kipling is using here. If you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat those two imposters just the same. He is using the word imposters. Now, triumph and disaster is something in the imposters. So both are deceive, deceitful. Deceitful in the sense what, what I mean to say that you got success. Don't take that, don't let the success enter into your head. So that you cannot retain the success for long. So when you get success, you should be more careful. At the same time, when you face disasters, you, should, you shouldn't lose your heart. If you look rationally, both triumph and disaster will teach you lessons. The triumph, success will teach you how far you have come, how many challenges you overcome to reach that success. That success will tell you how you evolved. But at the same time, disasters, failures will tell you where you went wrong. So both triumph and disasters, you shouldn't let them enter into your head. You should look at them as imposters. Now, both, both are deceitful. So if you allow the success to get into your head, you will you'll be not serious about the, the next achievements. At the same time, disasters, you will be uh, losing your hopes and you will give up soon. So, you, both you should take them carefully. If you can bear to hear the truth, you have spoken. If you can bear to hear the truth, you have spoken. In the society, friends, you will come across the people. Whatever you say, it will be twisted to make, to get benefit for them. So some people always in the society, so those who want to cheat and get benefit. If you can make it, sorry, if you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken, twisted by names, names are the uh, people who will deceitfully cheat and get benefit. Names to make a trap for fools. Or what the things you gave your life to broken. Sometimes everything what you gave will be gone. You will be left with nothing. No hopes. And yet you shouldn't lose your heart. If you can bear to hear the truth you have spoken, to stay by names to make a trap for fools, 
or was the things you gave your life to broken but don't lose your heart don't give up and two i build them with worn out tools whatever tools whatever you left with with that you should again take on the action that's what he says now the third stanza says if you can make one heap of all your winnings you have achieved success but life is such that you will achieve great success tremendous success and sometimes you will lose everything everything at that time the whole your life's experiences and hard work will go to go in a minute it will go away the future will look bleak then at that time also you should lose your heart if you can make one heap of all your winnings one heap of all your winnings all your hard work achievements and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss pitch and toss is a kind of gambling you may lose everything but you if you if you have confidence within you you can regain them at any moment if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings no matter if you lose but don't you may lose everything but you shouldn't lose yourself then if you have with you you can start again from the scratch and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe uh, never breathe a word about your loss never think never waste even a moment thinking about the loss what will happen if you keep on thinking our losses our lost opportunities we couldn't focus on the present and that leads if our uh, that leads uh, we will be not able to build the glorious future so we should not focus on our failures losses and we should get lessons from the failures and losses disappointments and then we should work in the present so that our future will be successful if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew so your body mind and soul all you should bring together you should force them if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone you should you shouldn't give up everything you lost no man no problem but you shouldn't allow your heart your mind and body your soul to disappoint it you, you, you should bring them you should force them to work rework again restart again on your goals if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they're gone and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them hold on remember friends he says except the will which says to them hold on you lost everything friends everything the future seems bleak nothing is possible but yes at that time if you have the will power you you can build your future you can achieve anything because you have your will power that will power your will power will support you that your will power will empower you the fourth stanza says if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings not lose the common debt friends and we will achieve success then how we behave with the kings or the elite people and how you behave with the common people so we should maintain a perfect balance so both the elite if when you are walking with the king the kings or the Talk, uh, talking with the crowds, you should maintain your own balance. You shouldn't lose your heart. If you can walk, talk with crowds and keep your virtue, you should have your own values. It shouldn't be, get disturbed at any cost. Or walk with kings, not lose the common touch. So these two lines will say that whatever kind of people you will meet in this society, you should maintain your own balance. Equal distance you need to maintain. So that so that they cannot disturb your personal your personality great personality if neither force nor love friends can hurt you if all men count with you but none too much now sometimes it happens that our own, not only enemies or um, opponents will hurt us 
Sometimes our friends, near and dear people also will hurt us. Their attachment, the attachment with our near and dear people also will lead to pain. Now, we should maintain our relations in such a way that neither friends nor foes can hurt us. That will come through practice. If neither force nor loving friends can hurt you, but if all will count with you, but none too much, all will count you, everybody will uh, expect something from you, but none too much. That relation maintenance should be in a proper way. Then, if you can fill the unforgiving minute, if you can fill unforgiving minute, time is precious. Many of us will be losing our valuable time and then later we will repent. Had I would have used the time at that time, I would, my life will, now, will be better now. So time is unforgiving factor, friends. Remember, if you can fulfill, if you can fill the, sorry, if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, every minute you should use it. You shouldn't waste time. If you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run, if you use that time, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you will be a man, my son. So, friends, if you use the time properly, if you maintain all these values, definitely nothing will be impossible for us. And we will, sh for sure, we will be leading a successful and happy and pur purposeful life. Wishing you great success in all your endeavors. This is Sukhari Gunda signing off. Thank you.